Hello guys, I'm Aloy Andaluz and on this video we will see some of the news in 3ds Max 2021. Lots of new OSL materials in 3ds Max 2021. One of my favorite is HDRI environment. You can apply it on the environment and basically it's an HDRI on the environment. You will have these in things like V-Ray, but now it's an OSL, so you can apply this to any motor and it has some unique characteristics and you can tweak and do whatever you want. As well, 3ds Max now comes with different HDRI images that you can load. You can change rotation, height, the typical things like tilt and do the mirror, but then you can as well in change the exposure of this HDRI in a very easy way that before in Max was not possible. You can change the contrast. And you can see all this reflected on the viewport. You can change the tint, the tint because we have improvements on the viewport itself. You will see effects with IBL illumination, your models. It's not only affecting the reflections, but also the illumination itself. You can define background blur, basically will add blur to the background. Uh, you can increase or decrease that and you will see it all the time on the image. Changing the image will happen that you will have a blur. You can increase and decrease the samples. So if you want more quality, you can do that. The default 16 is a little low. And then we have ground projection. So basically it's projecting the spherical image into uh, ground. You can see that now when we rotate or move, we can see our object as it is sitting on the floor. And then when you switch to another image, you will see exactly the same. I think it's very useful if you do product bid or whatever. And finally, you can change the custom background. So you can define any color. It's only for your background, the illumination and everything. It's still using the HDRI, but for you, you will see a different background that can be a color or you can plug here another map. We have now more control over the skylight applied on your models on the viewport. Right now it's off, now I turn it on. And now we have progressive lighting coming from the HDRI. It's using ABL to illuminate our scene. This is progressive, so you can see that right now it takes us some seconds to refine. And now we have a slider that controls this refinement. So if you have more fit in, it will be softer. So when you move, it will take some time to start applying, but will be softer and will be less distracting. Always you can turn it off if you need it. And it can create really pleasant image with different HDRI image refining. One big improvement on 2021 is ambient occlusion. Right now, ambient occlusion is persistent before 2021. When you rotate the view or you play an animation, the ambient occlusion was off and then it was part of the refinement process. Now, it's always there, it's improved, it will be faster. And as well, you can control as before the ambient occlusion radius and the intensity fade. One of my favorite OSL maps in 3ds Max 2021 is HDRI lights. It allows you to place manually lights that will reflect and as well illuminate your scene. I am using that with the place highlight. You can place it exactly on the mesh where you want the reflection and the lighting. You can create, as you can see, as many lights as you want, and you can define, create a helper and position this helper with this position highlight. It's really fast and artist friendly. You can change the tint of the light, so you can change the color in a very easy way. You can as well change the exposure, so if you want to increase or decrease the HDRI intensity, and you can choose the HDRI light. So it will change the appearance of this HDRI light. You can create a new point, place it on a different place. I will place it on the center more or less of the image. You can see it on this sphere. And now 3ds Max 2021 comes with different HDRI lights files that you can choose from. They have umbrella, soft lights, all these type of things. Each one has different intensities and colors that you can always uh, change exposure and the tint. Also, you can change the size and the spec ratio and you can rotate if it, you need it. You can create really uh, artist friendly uh, ways to illuminate your scene. Also, you can change the ambient light in a very easy way. It will affect totally the illumination and the reflection. And thanks to the improvements on the viewport, you can see a really quality viewport right now. Even I am on a laptop with not the best uh, graphic card. 
We had as well improvements on physical material. Right now, coating parameters are displayed on the viewport. So if you increase the clear coat intensity and you change the color, you will see it on the viewport as well roughness it's displayed on the viewport. So you can have a small layer that it reflects differently than the global material. And yeah, it looks great. Not only that, but you will see that the interface is a little different. It's because they pour the interface to Qt and doing so, you will see that if you switch between different physical materials, the response is way faster. Another thing that changed is that to switch between nodes, now you need only one click. Before it was two clicks, in 2021, it's one click. PBR, metal roughness, also you have the specular, it's a material that is a scripted material based on the physical material that is very helpful for everyone that works with PBR materials, basically. You can drag and drop your textures directly there, and it will take care of the normal maps, it will take care of all the gamma corrections, so you will not need to define the gamma correction at one when you, it's a roughness. It's doing it for you, then you simply drag and drop to your object, and you have a correct representation of roughness, uh, metalness, if you are using metalness, and uh, normal maps. Really useful and accelerates the work a lot. Creating normals has been a problem in 3ds Max because we didn't have weighted normals. That's until 2021 where we have weighted normals. Uh, it can happen when you have a very low poly object where you have different sizes on triangles. Now with weighted, it will take into account the size of every face. So you can see now on and off how it changed and it to create more pleasant normals when you have weighted normals it's kind of a magic modifier and you have different options you can display normals you can turn on and off area and by angle you can snap to larger face you can limit using uv maps and smoothing groups or whatever you can think of another great news is that we have mixed normals so if you work with other motors and it's your normals are big outside 3ds max you can have some errors you know that meet it's a better format overall to create normals and you can see that now 3ds max supports meet so you will get exactly the same results in unreal unity or now 3ds max really great for all of you working with real-time engines until now the way to render to texture was with render to texture and the interface was old a lot of menus and difficult to change multiple render to textures at the same time so now the team created big to texture that it's kind of a replacement of render to texture with a better ui and for a while it will coexist because we don't have a still everything in big to texture but the interface is much better we wait for feedback from people so use it and give feedback but now you can modify multiple objects at the same time different texture size at the same time you can see it here the different elements being rendered it supports arnold v-ray corona and whatever that it's being at and you have a queue of elements that you can cancel and it's a great new ui another very useful osl is color correction basically gathers all types of things that you will imagine to do with color correction you can change the shift hue you can tint it you can change saturation tint strange you can do multiple stuff also a very cool thing that you can do is that you can apply only on a hue range so right now i will apply it only on the yellow part of the of the image and uh, now i will apply it only on this green uh, part of the texture all this is one single texture that it's applied everywhere, so you can apply it to specific places. Here, another example of color correction. I downloaded this model from Sketchfab, it's not mine, link on the description. I animated with some modifiers. I have these kind of cool uh, patterns, and you can see how fast it is. It's real time, thanks to HLSL and I can modify all types of color correction and see it while it's animating in the background. I am doing this on a laptop, it's not the best at all, uh, not the most expensive neither, and it's quite old, so even with better systems you will have better performance. Now I can use Apply only to hue range, I will change only the antenna, and you can see how I can tint only the antenna. All this object has only one texture, so it's something that you will do in Photoshop. You can do it now directly in 3ds Max with OSL, that is great. 
Now OSL supports Qt interfaces, so right now in some nodes like the switcher, you can add inputs and outputs and in an interactive way, so it's really perfect and you will see this in some OSL maps already and it will be added to others in the future. With QuickTime coming to OSL, we can have widgets in OSL maps. Here it's Curve, a new OSL maps that basically you can adjust curve colors. It's a little slow because right now it's baking the texture, so it's not using a, an HLSL conversion right now, but it's useful if you want to render and it display on the viewport as well. It's really difficult to say my favorite OSL map on this 2021 release, but the projection OSLs are among my favorites. Here you can see camera projection map. Basically, you can see the result in real time on the viewport, that it's huge. You can change resolution independently from your resolution of render, that also it's a big thing. You can project on back or project only on the frontal faces. And basically it's real fast, as you can see, you can modify everything, you can add multiple cameras and because it's OSL, you can do whatever you want. I really like and can be very useful. Another one is the object projector. Basically, you select uh, any helper or object and you can define scales. You can rotate the helper because it's always projecting through the Z axis. Uh, you can rotate it, you can scale it, very useful if you need to create some decals, you can add multiple ones. And finally, we have the spherical projection that basically does what it says. It's a spherical projection. So you can see it here and you can see how fast it is. It's the biggest thing of HLSL. Um, it's really fast. And then you can project on back and you have Another OSL that is very useful is the Uber noise. Basically, are multiple noises all in one note. You have all types of controls to define different types of fractals, lacunacy, layer distortions. Uh, you can guess all what you will expect from a Uber noise. And it's something I like as an FX artist. I like a lot of noises. And before with the legacy noise, we were kind of limited. Here we have way more options to control your noise. You have colors as the legacy one. That is something I miss on the other uh, noises on in OSL. Did you miss something? Yes, chamfer modifier. There are improvements on chamfer modifier. Uh, if not, will not be a new release of 3 ds Max without news on chamfer. We have improved intersection collisions. So now you will see that when you increase it and it cannot, in, it's impacting one chamfer with another, it will stop. Now chamfer is as well on edit poly. Before we had chamfer on editable poly and the modifier itself. Now as an edit poly, you have these new chamfer tools. There are new algorithms and improve, improve at existing algorithms. So yeah, always keep improving. That is always a good thing, I think. During the beta of 3ds Max 2020, I create different scenes. All these are downloaded from a Sketchfab. You can find the links below. I simply animate some of them and reapply materials. I create what you can see here with the HDR, the sliders. It's based with the HDRI environment under the hood. If you are one of my patrons, you can get the file to control this. So you can switch between the HDRI that comes with 3ds Max in an easy way. And I think that overall, together with the different OSL mixed with the improvements on viewport, makes working with 3ds Max much easier and straightforward and it's nicer in general. I start delivering to clients previews for some results and it's not for everything. You will still need to render a lot of stuff, but you create very nice image now directly from viewport. So instead of rendering with Arnold and GI for minutes, you can get a very good quality image in three seconds. And yeah, it's iterating faster, makes you work faster. And overall, it's great. I think we had a lot of cool improvements and the viewport is one of these on this 2021 release of 3ds Max. Something you will see from the beginning is that 3ds Max 2021 has a new installer. It's a web installer. You can define if you want to install the material library, for example, for now, and it's way faster than before. We had multiple improvements, a part of what we saw. OSL, we have different maps, and as well, 
FBX now explores OSL code. A big job has been into explicit normal preservation across multiple modifiers, editable poly, edit poly, editable mesh, now preserve the normals that you defined before. Arnold and physical material are now default. As well, we have important performance updates. Remember that now 3ds Max loads faster than before. A big one that I didn't illustrate here is Python 3. Python 3 is in 3ds Max 2021. So if you code now, everything is poured with to Python 3 with retro compatibility to previous Pythons. And remember all what we saw, it was for the last three months. If you go back to 2020, you have all the updates that we saw in the update one, two and three. Thank you a lot to all my Patreons, really helped to make these videos. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, this is obvious, give me a comment, I always like it, and consider to donate something, uh, it will help me doing these videos. Thank you a lot guys, and see you soon, bye!